Hey guys, um, I know it's been a little while, but I really felt the need to make a video because you have the Arkham Knight pack back into the store, and one of the things that I feel like a lot of people want to know is how to get money quick in Injustice. How do you get credits quick? I have a method here for you that gets you... Uh, like a hundred fifty thousand credits like within an hour pretty much per hour uh, like I'm not kidding and so I thought that um, the Arkham the Arkham pack is back and it's been here for like a week now so they might take it down any day they might take it down today it might be gone before I even post this video so I decided that I wanted to make this video because I want you guys to get credits fast go to battle six and it's the bonus battle now um i'm willing to bet that you guys already know this but battle six the bonus battle uh if you just keep going through that over and over and over it's you get you get somewhere around two thousand credits per the first one and then you get four thousand credits for the next four you keep doing that over and over and that's what is that four times four so that's um so you you get what i mean there are somewhere around 10 characters in the game who i i feel have strong basic attacks and attacks that are really good for completing these challenges really really quick okay the characters that you want to use for this mode will be as follows Dawn of Justice Batman, Suicide Squad Deadshot, Injustice 2 Superman, Dawn of Justice Superman, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, Blackest Night Batman, Arkham Origins The Joker, Arkham Knight The Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, Animated Batman Beyond, Red Sun Superman, Reverse Flash, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke. Now those characters I just listed are the best characters for doing the method I'm about to show you. This method, now this method could cost you a bit of credits if you're just starting out. Now all of these characters I just listed, all of these characters I just listed there's one thing you need to do. You need to buy the second and third gear slots, which so it's 20,000 and 40,000. Yeah, that that's a few hundred thousand credits, but I'm going to assume that most of you have already bought those second and third gear slots for most of these characters that I've listed already. So I think most of you guys should be pretty fine with that. So what you want to do is Go through this battle mode a few times, get credits so that you can buy those second and third slots. The next, so once you do all that, for all the characters I said, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and you want to fuse the following gears. You're going to want the, pre, the Prometheum Longsword, which is Deathstroke's gear. Now that one is going to bring you more damage to your basic attacks and crit your basic attacks okay you're gonna want to do that one another one you can do is the powered Escrama sticks which is Nightwing's gear you can do that um, you can do that and you can also do nether realm camera which does the same thing and then the last one you want to do is Ares blade of the war god which also does the damage and crit, bu crit boost so what I'm basically trying to get across here is that you want, you're going to want three gears that do more damage and crit boost. They all work together and you get major crit boost. My strongest character is Dawn of Justice Batman, so I usually use him first. And then I usually go down the line using each strong character first. And as I go down, use the weaker of the characters that I mentioned. Now, say, say you have a character who's not level 50 yet. I have a t uh, Teen Titans Raven that's only level 47. So, what you want to do is, if you have the Riddler Staff, you would want to go ahead and evolve that one too. 
that one gives you 11 experience bonus to the team. So what you would want to do is put on two characters who aren't completely leveled up. Like for instance, Teen Titans Raven and my Earth 2 Solomon Grundy both aren't level 50 yet. And so I would want to put them with a Riddler staff and get some extra um, experience. But there actually is another way to get experience on a, on one character really fast. Um, that might be my next helpful video, my kind of tutorial. It would be very simple though, because it's you know it's not anything crazy. But uh, but basically that's about it. What I'm gonna do now is show you. Um, so one, okay, one final thing. Now, there are just a couple of characters where I feel like they don't, some of these characters I listed, they don't 100% work amazingly alone. Um, really quick, one of these characters is, I said, Reverse Flash. I'm willing to bet not everybody has a very high elite of Reverse Flash, but um, something you can do to kind of make your time easier with him is go ahead and put on your second and third slots of characters put in silver green lantern and silver flash now that actually really helps because that makes reverse flash faster with flashes passive and also green lanterns passive makes him get power faster and so that's one kind of really fun team that i would use for reverse flash should you want to use him and another one is that i said arkham origins deathstroke now, Arkham Origins Deathstroke is a little bit on the weak side, so what I would want you to do to counter that is go ahead and put Arkham Origins Batman on your first slot, put Deathstroke on your second slot, and then put and then go ahead and put Batgirl, just regular Batgirl, on your third slot, and that team actually works really well for getting uh, a team beat very fast. And I think that's it. I think that's really all I wanted to say. Um, so when you do that, you seriously, no bullshit, get credits so quickly. If you just want some evidence, I can basically, when I play this game for a couple hours a day, I basically play this mode that I do. Basically, whenever I turn on the game, I just do this. I can almost get 750,000 credits per day. Sometimes even more than that. Um, I can usually get 750,000 credits in one day. In Not in one sitting, but in multiple sessions through one day. Um, so, that's that's... I don't think that's anywhere longer than about three hours of doing this per day. And so, and also if you wanted to know my Arkham Knight Batman, I actually got extremely lucky. Before this pack, I had an Elite 3 Arkham Knight Batman. But what happened was I got him once in one pack, but then later on, a couple packs later, I got him twice in one pack. So now he's Elite 6, and I just need him one more time. So you can see this is a little stressful for me because I'm buying this pack over and over for just one elite. And if they take it away, then it just leaves me with my Batman one elite away. So, but with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to make uh, a whole bunch more of these tutorial kinds of things because this is a method I don't think many people really consider. and. And take it from me. Try it out for yourself. Seriously, you get money so fast this way. And it's the best way to beat all these battles super quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. I haven't been making videos lately. I'm really sorry about that. But uh, it, it's hard for me to right now. Um, but don't worry. I think uh, around, uh, let's say, end in the middle of December, I might start having possibly daily uploads for about a month seriously that's not even a joke and yeah because i'm a college student but 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm serious. Try this out for yourself. I will obviously, there's going to be visuals, so you can just follow what I do on the screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome day. Keep on fighting as always is what I used to say. And have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.